Yeah. My name's John Brett. So I was admitted to the BRI, Bradford Royal Infirmary, uh, feeling generally unwell. And they found a shadow on my kidney, my transplanted kidney. And then when they found that it was cancer, um, they gave me some alternative treatments that I could have. So one was uh, major surgery. It would have meant, you know, uh, a big cut, more risk of infection, more risk of bleeding, and, uh, you know, the, the whole thing, um, I, I wasn't really in favour of it. <laughs> and then the second uh, treatment that was offered was, it was called cryo. I felt really, uh, really comfortable about coming over to Leeds for my treatment because uh, I originally had my kidney transplant in this hospital in 1991. You know, when we came to the Bexley Wing, it was just, just incredible and, you know, incredibly friendly and, you know, even the staff at the counter, you know, just everything about it. You know, the, the, the whole layout and environment of this, you know, Bexley Wing, it, it, it's, it's more like a hotel the, than a hospital. You know, it was just absolutely wonderful. You know, the, the colours calm you down and, you know, it's just, yeah, you know, 10 out of 10. <laughs> it, you know, the ward was so clean. Um, even the dinner ladies were really friendly, you know, and uh, we had a consultation with Dr. Wah, um and her secretary, Jeanette, was there also, and uh, another colleague of Dr. Wah's, and, um, you know, she explained that she was going to do the procedure and, uh, you know, how long it would take and, you know, what the recovery would be like and so forth. So we had a, you know, it was fully explained to us. It did make me feel very comfortable, you know, to know exactly what, you know, the procedure was going to be, yeah. And it was very, very, very quick. Yes, it was. You know, we, yeah. we didn't wait around at all, yeah. you know, from the time that the anaesthetist came to see us and explained, you know, what he was going to do. You know, just, just to know that they really did care for you and, you know, how Dr. Ward explained that my transplanted kidney is very precious. You know, she used that word and that she was going to take every care to, you know, to make sure that this cancer was removed and, you know, that after treatment would be good. So it was just, you know, first class. Yeah, that's right, because, uh, you know, sometimes I do suffer from a little bit of anxiety and, uh, you know, that did help to uh, have everything sort of, you know, happen really quickly. So that that was comforting, uh, you know. Before the uh, operation, the the anis, yeah, the anaesthetist came to see me. He was obviously a very mature, uh, you know, doctor. He'd been in that profession for about thirty odd years, so you know, he really did know his stuff, and um, yeah, it was wonderful. So it was a a general anaesthetic, and I think it was a three hour procedure. So. I, I don't know much about, you know, <laughs> whilst it was going on. And I, I think the difference is with radio frequency ablation, they use heat. And with cryo ablation, they use ice. So they, f they freeze uh, the, the tumour. Dr. Wah came to see me. The uh, anaesthetist came to see me, uh, you know, to make sure I was OK um, in the recovery room before they brought me back. And, you know, the, obviously monitored me very, very well. Um, and I had no after effects from the anaesthetic, you know, which was absolutely wonderful. Just a little uncomfortable, but uh, I mean, you know, you're going to expect that, but you know, nothing major. Um, so they, they really did make me feel at ease. Uh, I was in about, only about three or four days yeah, I, I must, you know, I can't find words to, you know, to say how amazing it was because, you know, just every nurse was so caring, you know, on Ward uh, 97. Um, you know, the doctors 
were all so, so caring and, you know, Dr. Wah obviously came to visit me, you know, and I have great admiration for that lady and her secretary. The nurses were, they were just so special, there was just really something special about them, you know, about the way they looked after you and, you know, if you press your buzzer, they're there almost immediately, you know. The whole team was absolutely incredible. I, I would recommend St. James's Hospital, uh, you know, for this treatment, you know, this cancer treatment, because it is so well equipped. Um, it is such a friendly hospital. Yeah, the treatment I had in the Bradford Royal Infirmary w was good, but uh, I, I can't compare it with the treatment I've had at St. James. This has been extraordinary. And from meeting the team of, you know, doctors, Dr. Wah, the secretary, Jeanette, and, you know, all, all the other members of her team, uh, I've, I felt really cared for and, and really well looked after. And, you know, the, the treatment has just been second to none. And I feel really well in myself at this moment in time um, and, and very pleased that I'm able to stay at St. James, you know, for my aftercare.